Welcome to Selenium Master Test Automation Crash Course Selenium Python Web Driver Lesson 2 Selenium IDE Section Selenium IDE Record and Playback In this lesson, I will explain how to create automation scripts using selenium id record and playback functionalities now i open mozilla firefox browser on this navigation bar type in http colon slash slash www w dot mahara dot org this is the mahara e-portfolio system i always use it as demo site for this testing course so i can click on the demo link or directly type in demo.mahara.org for opening the demo site. This demo site provides few demo accounts to use. Users can log in the site and log out the site. So I can create a simple test case for logging in. The test case is authorized users should be able to log in. Now let's walk through the steps for this test case. On this username field, I type admin and for password, all demo accounts have the password Mahara Demo. M is capital, D is capital. So now I type in Mahara Demo in the password field and click on the login button. Now logout link displayed. This site is used by many users. So sometimes when you log in, you will see a different language other than English on this navigation bar links and on this tab. So if you see a different language string, you can always change the language back to English by clicking on the settings link. Now I click on the settings link. On this settings page, I scroll the page down to see the language setting field and click on the language Deutsch and click on save. Now you see the links are displayed in the language Deutsch. So we need to switch this language back to English. So click on this link again and scroll the page down until we see the language section. And from this language selection, I chose English and then click on the save. Now the logout link displayed. So click on the logout link. Now login button displayed. So the simple test case 
for login contains the following steps. Step 1. Open demo.mahara.org Step 2. Type in username admin Step 3. Type in password Mahara demo Step 4. Click on the login button. Step 5. Verify that logout link is displayed. So we have five actions on the login test case. Now let's create automation scripts for these steps using Selenium IDE. I clicked on the navigation bar, press Alt F, and from this tools menu, choose Selenium IDE. Selenium IDE has few sections on this ID window. The left window is for creating test case or test suite. If I right click on this window, I will see new test case, add test case, delete, play test suite from here or properties few selections. So you can add new test case or you can delete existing test case. This top menu contains various actions uh, for creating test cases, test suites, exporting test suite or test cases. I will explain this menu in detail in later video tutorials. Base URL is the URL to which we create the automation scripts. On this right side window is for typing in various Selenium ID commands for web interactions. On this right side, there is a red button. This red button is for turning on and turning off recording functionality of Selenium ID. Now it is in recording mode. If I click on the red button, now it displayed click to record. So now let's create one test case using Selenium ID. So I type in the first line on this command window and then click on record. So on this username field, I type admin. On the password field, I type Mahara demo. And I click on the login button. Now the logout link displayed. So we need to add an assertion or a verification point on Selenium IDE. Selenium ID provides some options on the context menu of the browser. So I right click on the logout link. And on this logout link, I will see show all available commanders option. This option is very important for creating assertion point or verification point or for adding wait statement. Let's say we have many options to choose. 
So first one is assert title dashboard Mahara demo. Next one is assert text. Next one is assert element present. So we choose assert element present because once a user logs in the system, the user should be able to see the element logout. So I click on the assert element present option. Now I click on logout. So we have already walked through each step in the login test case. Now let's open Selenium IDE and look at the script. So Selenium IDE already recorded few steps on this command window. So open is for opening a website against the base URL. Selenium ID has many commands. So I will explain the commands in later video tutorials. For now, you can see the command and reference on this bottom window. Let's say open. The argument is URL. The URL to open. And second one is type. Type is locator and value. For locator, Selenium ID used ID and value is admin. So the type command takes target ID equals login underscore login underscore username value admin. The next step is type. And next one is click and wait. Click and wait for login submit. Now we do assert element present and click and wait logout. So now let's execute this script and play back the actions. So click on the first line open and let's change the execution speed from fast to slow. Now, let's click on this play current test case. So I press this button. Now let's look at the actions. So the playback is successful and total runs one and failures zero. So we have already played back the scripts that we have recorded. Now let's make it very slow and play back again. So click on the first command and play current test case. Now site is opened, admin is typed in, password typed in and logout link is displayed. Now login button displayed. So this playback is successful. So in summary, you can use Selenium ID to record actions on the website and you can play back the script to verify that all actions work fine. In order to record, you need to click on this red button to turn on the recording mode. And to play back, you click on the play current test case button.